let us now check uh, the configuration step maintain custom user groups so what do you do in this um, what do we have in this particular step and we need to uh, really configure it but let's check it out so let's check the documentation to understand what it's need so what you do is in this customization act activity right you maintain uh, custom user groups and add users to the group so if you want to you know perform risk analysis on a group of users let's say you want to perform a risk analysis across the systems you know whatever connectors you have um, and on a particular group of users let's say the basis users so you know if you are if you have a policy of uh, assigning user groups to users when while you are creating them um, you can then you know create custom user groups in GRC and then add uh, the users to that group so that uh, risk analysis can be performed group wise okay so you can perform a risk analysis pure only for basis administrators or you know only for finance users or you know uh, sales and sales users so you can group users uh, into you know, you know and then run risk analysis uh, for a small group of users instead of uh, running uh, running the risk analysis report uh, across the board okay so this is that is the purpose of this custom user group uh, concept so what you could do is so let's go and execute this uh, step and see what, what needs to be done right so you create new entries right let's say I say Z finance okay or just say finance this is finance group so just say users in the finance area okay then you select and then you click on maintain user IDs okay user ID for the custom group so you click on new entries and you can go and then pick users that belong to the finance group right so you pick the users across the systems which are part of your connector connector group so let's say I have ECC right let's say I pick another one with, let's say pick another one say okay so you can pick uh, user IDs that you are seeing here are basically coming from the systems that are in your connector group so we have a ECC system and we have a uh, you know, as for system in our uh, connector group that's why we have this uh, we get the list okay when you search for a user you get it from all the systems that are in your connector group uh, click on save it may prompt you to create a transport request and just say SP I'm just giving a transport request number okay description okay I'll just say custom group all right now you can go back and then if you want to create another group uh, let's say basis okay so give a description okay and then you can go and add the users power of this group I can go and add and say okay so like that you know you can go and add uh, the users for the custom groups okay, I'm going to delete this okay so we added two user groups now where will this be used so when you run the risk analysis report so let's open up another session and go to NWBC and 
for the access management. And when you try to you know when you execute the risk analysis report, you see this field here. This is from this is where your custom groups are going to show up that you have created, and you have the list of user IDs here. So when you pick the user ID, you run the pick the group, and uh, that is where your uh, for the users that are part of that group, right? For them, this risk analysis report is going to be executed, will be run. Okay, so that is the purpose of uh, the custom groups where you can run group the user ID, uh, the user IDs based on a common factor, and then run your risk analysis report on a smaller group of users, smaller chunk of users. Okay, so that's the purpose of uh, the user group. Okay. Okay. Next, next, let us see uh, the maintain master user ID mapping, and that would uh, that would be the yeah. After that, we will do synchronization jobs. Okay. So let's go and see maintain master user map ID mapping next.